In this video we're going to have a look at what defines a Eulerian trail. Let's first of all though have a look at what actually is a trail. Now a trail is a sequence of vertices joined by edges but no edges are allowed to be repeated. So we can see in this clip here we've got a sequence of vertices from A to Z, no repeating edges, so this constitutes a trail. So what makes a trail Eulerian? Well, the first thing is the graph must be connected. In other words, there's a way to travel from one vertex to any other vertex in the graph. To be a Eulerian trail on the network or graph, you must visit every edge, but only once. You can repeat vertices. So let's have a look at a Eulerian trail in this network. We'll start at the vertex on the left-hand side and follow the blue edge because that'll be our leading edge as we work our way through this particular network. In this case, because the trail starts and finishes at the same vertex, we say that it's a closed trail. And in the situation where we have a closed Eulerian trail, we define the graph as being Eulerian. There are other ways to determine the type of Eulerian trail just by looking at the vertices. So let's consider the degree of each vertex. First of all, we'll label all the vertices from A through to F. When we consider the degree of a vertex, Basically what we're doing is we're looking at a circle around a vertex and we're determining how many edges cut through that circle. So we can see here for vertex A that the degree of A is 2 because there are two edges cutting through the circle. To be a Eulerian trail what we need is that each vertex must be an even degree or to put it another way there are to be no odd vertices. Now that does require further investigation, but logically if each vertex is even, that means that for every line or edge that goes into a vertex, there must be one that comes out, and that lends itself well to being able to travel that particular network from start to finish. So what happens if you can travel across every edge of a network, but you're not able to finish at the vertex where you actually started? Let's have a look at the following graph where we want to visit every edge of the network exactly once and we'll use the green line to indicate the trail that we're following. In this case we're not able to get back to our starting vertex and you'll also notice that in this particular network there are two vertices that are odd. Vertex A has three edges and vertex E has five edges. A graph like this is said to be semi-Illyrian so we can travel across every particular edge just once but we're not able to get back to the starting point. So it's an open trail and what defines it is that if we have two odd vertices, we know that it's going to be semi-Eulerian. So whilst we can test a graph as being Eulerian, semi-Eulerian, or neither of those two by actually travelling across the network, a quicker way is to have a look at the degrees of the vertices. So in this particular case here, we can see that there are several vertices which are odd. A's got degree 3, B's degree 3, E's degree 5, and F is degree 3. That's four odd vertices. So we can say that this particular graph is neither Eulerian or semi-Eulerian. Let's just modify it slightly and take out one of the edges. So now what we have is we've only got two vertices which are odd. That's B and F. And that fits the pattern of being semi-Eulerian because there are only two odd vertices. In other words, we can travel across every edge of the network once, but we can't start and finish at the same vertex. What's interesting to note is that when we find two odd vertices, they become our start and finishing vertex. And the reason why that is, is because if it's an odd vertex, that means that we can move out of the vertex and come back in, but we have to leave it again. Whereas with an even vertex, for every edge that leaves a vertex, there's one that must come back. <laughs> 